Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today is going to be rad. Rad? Why is it gonna be rad? Because we have e-bikes. E-bikes, you ever heard of e-bikes? You ever seen these things? We have some very cool ones for you today. The rad power bikes. Now it's cool because they come in three different types. They have the rad rover, which is kind of like your off-road, awesome mountain bike, rad wagon, and it's kind of a cargo bike. It has things set up so you can put pouches on the back. We put our girls on there and then they, we go cruising. This is a rad mini, so it folds up in half. Super cool. Yeah, so if you want to take this thing and put it in a really tight, confined space, you can undo it right here, undo it right here, fold it down, fold it over. We have five bikes, and unfortunately, one of them is not going to make it through the day because we need to figure out how these bikes work. You just start pedaling and this engine just kicks in, but you don't see an engine. The wheel is really, really big and fat, and so I'm pretty sure that that is where kind of the motor and the drivetrain is. We need to try these things out, go riding as a family with them. I really want to take one of these ones with the big fat tires, the Rad Rover, up in the mountains, have Lincoln take his Rad Mini, and see how well it does off-road. We got the girls out here and we've just been riding on these trails. It's about 30 miles of trails. These have a 20 to 40 mile range on them. We can put the girls on the back of the bikes and then Lincoln can ride his own bike. And so sometimes he'll choose the Rad Mini, sometimes he'll choose the Rad Rover, but it's just a lot of fun out here. stuff sent to us often for us to cut open or people reach out and a lot of times we don't do videos on them because they may not be as interesting of products but this one rad power bikes actually sent us these bikes and they also gave us a link that's in the description that if you guys go on click on there and use the what's inside link you can get $50 off of your own bike and it also supports our channel we're stoked to be working with rad power bikes on this but now I'm even more stoked to be in the beautiful mountains of Utah 10 minutes from our house <laughs> Our house is right down there, and we are all the way up here. That is the Great Salt Lake out there. We got the bikes all ready. Let's go cruising. Lincoln's ripping up the hill right now, trying to come up here. See how fast he was going up the mountain? He's just zipping up, a, like literally up a mountain. All right, my verdict is, this is my way to mountain bike with an e-bike. Holy smokes, that was ridiculous. What did we find, Lincoln? We found a huge puddle. When you go through the puddle, it's really hard because you have to go up a big hill afterward and the water slows you down, but I just pulled on the throttle and then the bike just powered me right up and over the top of the hill. We're gonna make it. We good? I don't know. It's close. It's close. Put the mirror in, Lincoln. Yeah! Just made it. I just wanted to try something here. A little experiment. I wanna see if I can fit all three of them on this bike and see if I can still make it work. Okay, Lincoln's on. 10 year old on. I'm on. Eight year old on. <laughs> so you guys all on? Yep, I hold on to Okay, let's see if this bike can do it. Ah! seen enough YouTube videos of people cutting into batteries that it's not a great idea. What really is interesting on here is right down here by the gears, they fang, I don't really know what it is, but that's where the motor is, the thing that really propels it. It's kind of like a Tesla where there's no engine in the Tesla, but you now on the tires they have like a little drivetrain, so a giant battery and then this little drivetrain. I would love to cut open a Tesla someday. Someday. <laughs> it will happen. It will happen. But for now, we're gonna go with the e-bikes. It's gonna be a little tricky because there's all these little components and parts and gears and everything. Or he is. We will see. <laughs> all right, time to 
we get into this thing, we just gotta cut our way into it. I think that's really the only way to get in. <laughs> it's probably not the only way. We probably can unscrew a bunch of stuff. Nice, that's a good start. I just was thinking about it. I should probably take off the power pack so that I don't get shocked. Cool feature about this bike is that it has locks on it. When you have five bikes, you gotta find the right keys. And we found it. Now you take the battery pack off like that. Boom, no more juice. All right, I feel a little safer. Woo! Daughter! <laughs> <laughs> now it's stuck on there. That was a nice idea, but... How do you get it off now? Well, here's our progress. The tube, we've got the actual tire that had metal running around the edge. It has this nice protector so the spokes don't go up and in. And then you can look. We cut all the spokes off. There's the engine, that's what we're looking for. This is what I want to call the most ineffective way to change a tire. Check out all the spokes that are still on there. We just went right through them. So now my next plan is to cut right down this. Open that up with the bike still intact. Sounds super safe. Didn't want to have to cut into the metal frame of this guy, but it's getting too hard. So, sorry Red Power Bike. Take a look at my clothes for biking today. We got the chain on here. We got the motor in here. I'm holding it by the kickstand. So now it actually is time to cut this part of it, right? I've been trying though, I've been trying, look. <laughs> I tried to cut in there and it was too hard. So I just said, forget that, I'm just gonna cut the whole thing off. It should be easier now that there's no bike attached to it. But I got in. Oh, you did? Check it out. The motor, maybe. Oh. <laughs> ah. Look at the engine on this beast. It's really interesting because when I turn the brakes just a little bit that way and then I go back, look how it spins inside. Whoa! It spins the opposite way, but it propels it. See that? Man, it's pretty intense. Look at the engine in that thing. It looks like there's magnets right along the side. There's the metal. You've got all these different cables and wires inside, these coils. Shit. Lincoln, what was your favorite thing about these e-bikes? Probably just riding around as a family. That was super fun. Last week was mug week. If you missed it, you can go back and watch our three mug videos that we did. It was fun. This week we're gonna do alternative transportation week and we're gonna do some pretty random and pretty awesome things. I always see videos at the end that say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I've never done that before, but no. let's ask. If you like this video, Push give it a like. E-bike like <laughs> e meets what's inside. <laughs>